Take control of your fireplace with the Regency Fireplace app. This easy-to-use app will unlock the full potential of your fireplace. Start by downloading the app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store for Android by searching for M.U.S. Flame. From there, you can add it directly to your phone or tablet. To pair your fireplace automatically, follow these steps. Ensure Auto Scan is selected at the top of the screen. If your fireplace is off, turn it on now. Then, put your fireplace into pairing mode by pressing and holding the Wi-Fi button for 3 seconds until a beep is heard. The fuel bed will start flashing, indicating that the fireplace is ready to pair. When the fireplace icon appears on screen, click Next. The app will now load and pair with the fireplace. Once connected, the fuel bed will glow a solid color. Click Done to finish pairing the fireplace. Now you can turn on the fireplace by using the power button. To go to the home screen, click on the fireplace name. Now you have full control of your electric fireplace. If you are having problems connecting automatically, try pairing the fireplace in manual mode. To pair your fireplace manually, select Add Manually at the top of the screen. Then choose option A. Choose option B or C if you are pairing a second or third fireplace in your home. Select your home Wi-Fi network, enter your password, and click Next. Now turn your fireplace on and put it into pairing mode by pressing and holding the Wi-Fi button for 3 seconds until a beep is heard. Once the fuel bed starts flashing, check the box Next to confirm the indicator is flashing quickly. Click Next. Wait while the app connects to the fireplace. It may take a moment. Once connected, the fuel bed will glow a solid color. Click Done to finish pairing the fireplace. Now you can turn on the fireplace by using the power button. To go to the home screen, click on the fireplace name. You are now connected. To add multiple users, select the Edit button in the upper right corner of the home screen. Click Share Device. Click Add Sharing. Under Account, enter the email associated with the new user. Note, the email must match the email they used to sign up to the app. The new user will then get a notification that they have been added to the fireplace. To change your temperature units between Celsius and Fahrenheit, Click on the three bars in the top left corner. From there, select either Celsius or Fahrenheit. Let's familiarize ourselves with the home screen. Here you'll see the power, flame, heater and timer buttons. You can adjust the flame and heat manually or automatically. To control the heating adjustments manually, ensure the orange flame button, on the left, is set to manual. Then select the orange heat button, on the right, and choose either low or high. Use the circle scroll wheel in the center of the screen to choose your target temperature. The large number at the center of the screen will display your target, and the small number above, indicates the current room temperature. To control the heating adjustments automatically, Change the settings of the flame button and heat button to automatic. Note, to use automatic controls, the power, flame and heat buttons must be turned on. If you want your fireplace to turn off at a certain time, a timer can be set from the home screen by tapping the hourglass symbol. Then, click on the numbers in the top right corner. From here you can set the duration of time before your fireplace shuts off. Click Save. If you want to remove the timer, click the icon again. You can access the menu controls by selecting the three bars at the top left corner. Here, depending on your model, you'll have the ability to fully customize your experience. Access My Flame settings by selecting the menu controls. Select the My Flame button. There are six preset flame palettes. Choose one of six, or customize your own using options 7, 8 or 9. Go back to your menu and select your customization options. Main Flame, Flame Palette, Speed, Fuel Bed and Downlight. In this example, we will choose our Main Flame color by selecting Main Flame and choosing a new color. 
To save this change, return to the My Flame home screen. Click Save to add it to one of your personalized flame palettes. 7, 8 or 9. To access main flame adjustment settings, select the menu controls. Select the main flame button. Use the scroll wheel to adjust the flame color. The first slider below will adjust the flame brightness. If you have a Regency Onyx, there will be a second slider which adjusts the flame speed. Turn the flame on or off using the toggle button. To access flame palette adjustment settings, select the menu controls. Select the flame palette button. Use the scroll wheel to adjust the flame color and the slider below to adjust the flame brightness. Use the toggle button on the right side if you want to match your flame palette to your fuel bed choice. Turn the flame on or off using the toggle button in the center. To access fuel bed settings, select the menu controls. Select the fuel bed button. Use the scroll wheel to select the fuel bed color. Use the slider below to adjust the brightness. Turn the fuel bed on or off using the toggle button. To access Glowing Logs Adjustment Settings, select the menu controls. Select the Glowing Logs button. Use the scroll wheel to adjust the color and the slider below to adjust the brightness. Use the toggle button on the right side to match your flame palette to your fuel bed choice. Turn the Glowing Logs on or off using the toggle button. To access Down Light Adjustment Settings, select the menu controls. Select the down light button. Use the scroll wheel to adjust the color. Use the slider below to adjust the brightness. Use the toggle button to match your flame palette to your fuel bed choice. Turn the glowing logs on or off using the toggle button. To access ambient mood light settings, select the menu controls. Select the mood light button. Use the scroll wheel to select the ambient mood light color and the slider below to adjust the brightness. Turn the mood light on or off using the toggle button. Before setting the flame program, make sure the left orange flame button on the home screen is set to auto. To use automatic controls, the power, flame and heat buttons must be turned on. To program your fireplace to turn on and off according to a set schedule, select the menu controls and tap on set flame program. You can set a weekly timer for your flame up to four time periods a day according to four different weekly schedules. Select the time slot and set the start and end times for when you would like your fireplace to turn on and off. Ensure the time slot is active, indicated with an orange check mark. Choose which days you would like the program to repeat. Tap Save to save the program. Before setting the heater program make sure the right orange heat button on the home screen is set to auto. To use automatic controls, the power, flame and heat buttons must be turned on. To program your fireplace to heat according to a set schedule, click the menu controls and tap on set heater program. You can set a weekly timer for your fireplace to heat at target temperatures up to four time periods a day according to four different weekly schedules. Select the time slot and set the start and end times for when you would like your fireplace to heat. Click Save. Select the temperature slot and set the target temperature. Click Save. Ensure the time slot is active, indicated with the orange check mark. Choose which days you would like the program to repeat. Tap Save to save the program. If you have multiple devices in your home, you may create a home to manage them all. To create a home, select the down arrow at the top of the screen. Select Home Management. Select Create a Home. Enter a home name. Location is optional. Once you are done, hit Save. Now you can add multiple fireplaces to your home. If you want to delete a user from your home, select the edit button in the upper right corner. Select share device. Swipe left on the user profile you want to delete, then confirm. If you are having problems pairing your fireplace, please clear the cache in the app. From the home screen, go to me. Tap the settings icon in the upper right corner. 
select clear cache. If the unit is on, but power was disconnected during a power outage, press the Wi-Fi button once to connect again, after the power has been restored. If the unit was turned off for maintenance or other reasons, turn the unit back on, then press the Wi-Fi button one time to connect again. If your cell phone Wi-Fi disconnects, the fireplace will remember your phone. Simply reconnect to the fireplace. If your home Wi-Fi disconnects, you will need to reset the unit and repair your phone to the unit. For more information about the app, visit regency-fire.com.